Hey everybody, today I want to talk about aquarium filtration and in particular I want to talk about over filtration. I've been thinking a lot about it today and in fact I've already shot a video about mechanical filtration and whether or not I think that mechanical filtration is good or bad. I will go ahead and put a card right up there above my head if you want to watch that video first before we get to this one. This one is going to be about biological filtration. Biological filtration is a little different than the mechanical filtration. Uh, the mechanical filtration is fairly straightforward. We can all envision a, a coffee filter, an air filter, uh, and you know, just a physical filter that some material flows through and it filters other larger material out of it. Biological filtration does fit the definition of filtration, but it's more of a biological process than it is an actual physical thing. You can always put two coffee filters in your coffee maker. You can always stuff extra wads of biomaterial or uh, you know the, the polymaterial into your filter canister for extra mechanical filtration. But how do you get extra biological filtration? And I'm not so sure you even can get extra biological filtration. So before we get into that, let's actually go over what biofiltration is and how all that works. I'm not going to get too deep into the weeds on it, we'll just go over the basics of it. But you have waste products being produced in your aquarium, both from the fish and decaying fish food, organic material, etc. As that breaks down, it produces ammonia. That ammonia is then oxidized by one particular species of bacteria that lives in the tank. Uh, you can think of this oxidation process as being eaten by that bacteria. That bacteria, after it oxidizes the ammonia, that becomes nitrite. There's another species of bacteria that oxidizes the nitrite and turns it into nitrate. So it's this biological process by which the ammonia is broken down into nitrate, where it goes from being highly toxic to relatively harmless. And if your biological filter, your biological system is working properly, that should happen more or less on an ongoing, as it comes, it goes basis. And you shouldn't get any buildup of ammonia. The ammonia should be dealt with more or less as it's produced. There's always going to be tiny amounts in your tank. It's got to go from the fish's gills to where the bacteria is before it can be oxidized. And then, of course, the nitrite has to flow around until it, too, gets oxidized and gets turned into nitrate. So there are trace amounts of it in your aquarium. But that's just a matter of how the process works. That's, there's nothing you can do about that. You can't add extra filtration to get rid of that extra tiny little amount. So let's think about if we have two guppies that are living in a 55-gallon aquarium. Those two guppies are only producing a certain amount of waste products. Let's just imagine a bare bottom glass tank, nothing in it. Let's see, even say a 10 gallon tank. Two guppies, glass bare bottom, no nothing. And then you got a little hang on the back filter with your little black sponge in there, and that's your biomaterial. So those guppies are producing a certain amount of waste. That waste is being oxidized by a certain amount of bacteria. It, think about animals eating food. If you've got a finite source of food, you can only keep a finite amount of animals. You cannot keep increasing the, the herd without increasing the amount of food. So you can't add additional biofiltration. All you can do is provide surface area, and in this case, the little black filter that comes in a standard 10 gallon hang on the back would provide way plenty ample surface area for super duper over filtration of the amount of ammonia that's being produced by those two guppies. But it's just wasted real estate. It's, it's real estate that nobody's going to inhabit because there's only so much ammonia being produced in the tank. Now, if you plan on adding more fish, that's fine. You've got room to grow and that's a good thing, but you can't force it to grow. What you have to do is add a few more fish so you don't overwhelm the amount of bacteria that's already there and then gradually now that there's a larger food source there's more ammonia being produced now the bacteria can actually begin building its numbers and can grow into that space a little more 
but it's always going to be dependent on how much food, ammonia, how much waste product in your aquarium is being produced. You can't force it to be extra bacteria that's just like hanging out waiting in case you add extra fish one day it'll be there and ready it just doesn't work that way it, it has to be kept alive by being fed waste products that are being produced in your tank again you have to think about the bacteria that lives in your uh, bio system whether it's actually living in the filter physically itself or it's living in the aquarium my my waterfall behind me has bacteria that lives all through it. It doesn't have any mechanical, I mean, it doesn't have any bio balls or any medium. The, the tank itself is where the bacteria lives. And only as much bacteria is going to be there is as much food source is being provided for it. So while there's ample room for more and more and more bacteria to grow and grow and grow, I would have to add more and more and more fish. And you get to a point where you have so much room for bio load there's just no point to it why would i have enough bio load to house 50 fish when there's no way i'm ever going to have 50 fish in this aquarium so you you make sure you've got enough real estate you know when you think about the the whether it's bio balls or it's ceramic rings or it's that little black sponge that's the surface area that the bacteria lives on. That's the, it's real estate, that's its housing complex. However you wanna look at it, that's where it lives. And you need to make sure there's enough of it there so that if you max out the, the bio capacity of your tank, if you really overstock your tank, there will be enough space for all that stuff to grow into, but it's gonna to have to grow into it. So you can't just dump a bunch of fish in the tank and expect that to happen. You have to gradually increase it and allow those bacterial levels to increase but they're always going to balance out. So I don't, I don't think you can over biofilter. All you can really do is over provide real estate. You know, you can put lots and lots of bio balls in there. Uh, for example, I was thinking about it today. My, any one of my tanks really, if you look at my 125 off to my right here, um, I've got three trays full of bio ball. I got it all mixed up. I got the, the, the pot scrubbies in there for, for, you know, surface area. I got bio balls. I got ceramic rings. I got trays of them. And yet, on more than one occasion, I forgot to plug this filter back in after water changes. And because I've got good circulation in the tank by other means, I've got good flow through the tank by a power head, the tank itself houses enough biological bacteria and, and biofiltration, if you will, that I never registered any ammonia whatsoever, and that was with my filter just being shut off suddenly without warning. It was just cut out of the system, and yet my tank never flinched because I've got so much biofiltration just within the tank itself, between my substrate and the rocks and the woodwork that's in there, and then the bacteria just lives in the tank. And so as long as I've got good water flow and good circulation and that that water is being moved around the tank and so all of that waste product can come in contact with that bacteria the tank took care of itself so am i over biofiltrating is biofiltrating a word i don't know it is now um no i'm not my tank has got just enough biofiltration that it handles the bio load it's got but I've got room for more than enough real estate. Again, I could just take that filter out of the system and it's not really doing much of anything when it comes to the biofiltration, the tank handles itself. So I had my thoughts about having more than you needed when it comes to the mechanical filtration and long and short of it is I think it's probably a bad idea to have too much mechanical filtration. And again, you can check out that other video if you want the reasons why. But when it comes to the biofiltration, I just don't think you can have more than you need. All you can do is provide the proper amount of real estate or biomedia, and then you have to let the tank deal with itself. But understanding that process and understanding the balance between the amount of food versus the amount of ammonia is really, really important. I've always said that the most important living thing in your aquarium is the stuff you can't even see. It's the, it's the microbial life that, that keeps your tank healthy. And you have to think about that as being an inhabitant of your aquarium. You have to think about its needs, its life cycle, you know, temperature, water flow, food. That 
is the important part of your aquarium. The fish you put in there are an afterthought. You have to keep all of that stuff healthy in order to keep your fish healthy. So having the proper amount of water flow, having the proper amount of material or biomedia, and then allowing that to balance out over time and not trying to slam the system one way or the other uh, too rapidly is going to be your key to having proper biofiltration. Again, I just don't think you can have over biofiltration unless you want to count having extra media in case there needs to be room to grow. So that's my two cents on that. Maybe that's my four cents on that. I don't know. You can tell me your opinion down below. Thanks for watching that one. Don't forget to check out that other video and don't forget to subscribe. You never know what you're going to get from me. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget this one here is my waterfall tank. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.